All right, so in this episode of RM Cousin Shop, I'm going to show you to make an intercooler diverter. Uh, I'm going to do a budget build once again on this car. Uh, it should cost you around $10, if, depending if you have weather shipping. If not, you're going to look for around $20 to build this. Um, so to get started, it's just a uh, simple T30, four T30 screws. Short ones in the front, longer ones in the back. Those come out. This one's off. There's your intercooler right there. So the whole goal is to get air from the hood scoop up here into the intercooler. It's still kind of warm. I just drove, drove the car for about two hours, actually. Um, but yeah, we're going to basically make this out of steel, polish it, clear coat it, and it'll be mint. I got a lot of that in the car. A lot of it? <laughs> it's not coming off. You gotta use that shit and just wipe yeah. it. So once you get the template made, this is 22 gauge steel. You just cut it out. Now I'm finally going to be able to tell your car from every other silver BMW. Right? Because <laughs> they're all silver. Exactly. All the ones at Westcon now, I saw like four more of my car, and they're all silver. One of them has blackout taillight. That's the only thing that's different. And I was like, might as well make mine different. <laughs> Ow! How I, got... I don't know. Probably almost dry. Yeah, it's dry. Five minutes? Yeah. It's dry? That's not. That's from the can. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that looks sexy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that looks pretty good. <laughs> now you just gotta take this shit and I'll clean off the. Yeah. Clean off the shit for you. Really a Hooters thing, Eric? Yeah. <laughs> this, that looks... That's... You gotta really press on it to get this shit off. Damn. <laughs> that is some heavy duty. Why did your door get all dented? <laughs> My grandma drove this thing. Come on, I'll get off. <laughs> Shit ton right there. It looks really good though. It really does. For 10 bucks? I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, so once you get the basic template cut out, you start bending the edges down. Um, this is optional, you don't really have to do this, but I'm just trying to do it just to pretty much match up with the uh, OEM one. So yeah, you just bend all the edges down, get everything looking pretty decent. Um, for this, I am just using the vise. Uh, I know there's a lot better ways to do this, but this is just for proof of concept, nothing more. And let's get it about level. Just hold it. You can also use a pair of pliers. That's what I originally started doing this with. I found the vise to be a bit more effective. You should get your cords out of the way first.
not perfect, but like I said, this is more of a proof of concept. <clears throat> but when I'm done, that almost lines up with the factory diverter. So the next thing I'm going to have to do is get ready to cut out the uh, vents. So, once you get that all set, you have to cut this out. Cut about a one inch strip going up, and you bend that strip up so you get air deflection going down and into the intercooler. Then you take the scrap from this piece here for the supercharger boot and cut that in half. Now we're going to tack it on right here so that it actually matches up with the hood scoop, gets the most airflow. Then the other piece is going to get tacked down right over here, and then we'll just paint it and we'll be good to go. Just have to put some weather stripping around the edge, make sure it gets a good seal, and we'll be there. So, stay tuned. Okay, and here's the finished product. All I did was weld these two little side tabs on, put some weather stripping on around the edge, and now I have a Alta-style intake diverter. Um, it's held in here pretty solidly. There's no real flex in it. I do have to rework it a little bit. It does have a little bit of flex in the, some of the fins. Um, I painted it nice blaze orange. It's going to go red, but didn't have a nice metallic red to match my filter, so that's what it looks like for now. Um, it's a very rough version of it. You see the edges aren't really polished off. I just wanted to do a bit of a proof of concept just to make sure that this would work. Um, in the upcoming days, I'm going to make a more polished version of it. Probably use stainless steel, do some real nice welds and proper weather stripping. But for now, this is going to work. All right, so let's close the hood and see how she fits. All right, and everything looks good. Just pop the hood again, make sure everything's still fitting right. Look at that. Actually, I think I did. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. So, sits up in here. And just one more time. And there it is. R53 DIY. Intake diverter, intercooler diverter, either way. And that's it. Thanks for watching this video, and be sure to follow for more updates in this car.